relationship. So think about this. I would like to recommend the book, book to you. It's a very old book, but so far I have found nothing that helps women more who have a similar uh, problem or concern you know, th that you do. And it's a book called Women Who Love Too Much by Robin Norwood. And there's a sequel to that, which is Letters from Women Who Love Too Much. And it is excellent because it teaches women or it shows women a possible explanation for their need for this drama. And one of the reasons is because they may have grown up in situations when this was the case, no? Their father their mother could never be secure about their father. He was sometimes there, he was sometimes not. Did he love his mom, her mom, or did he not love her mom? So you have learned that true love or excitement is what love is all about. You have learned that if there is no uh, novelty, if there is no feeling of uncertainty, it's not love. But that is not true. That is just a function of the kind of relationship you had. That's number one. Number two is that we all need novelty. If everything is the same, nakaka-bore, hindi ba? But the novelty doesn't have another man. The novelty doesn't have to be, okay, tapos na ako sayo, I know na everything about you, let me find someone else and he will give me drama. You know, the novelty can be between you and him, not him supplying you with the novelty, not you supplying him with the drama, but together, you're finding the drama somewhere else. You know, a lot of men at least the men who fool around like to say, hey, what can I do? You know, novelty is a basic need of people, which it is. But the most boring, the most pedestrian of people find this novelty through extramarital affairs or through affairs. Because believe you me, if you have passion in your life, if you believe in things strongly, if your eyes are open to the world, you know, you don't need another person, you know, you don't need to betray your partner simply to find excitement. You will find excitement in so many other ways, okay? Oh, but I just want to say, no, because we're talking about real people, so it's very difficult to give just one explanation for things. Uh, while I do not encourage extramarital affairs or love triangles, that it is difficult to tar them all with the same brush, that they are so bad, etc., etc. Sometimes, once in a very rare while, two people really fall in love with each other, and they are not married to each other, they are married to other people. And it's a difficult situation, but I just wanted to make clear, it doesn't mean that all people who fall in love, even if they're married with someone else, are selfish sons, selfish sons of bitches, right? Sometimes they're selfish, but they're not sons of bitches, etc. Anyway, going back to breaking up, we have at Angel Vibar who asks, when you find out that your boyfriend is cheating and lying, is it time to break up with him even though I love him so much? Um, my husband, who is much more stringent than me, would say something like this. Uh, no, you don't have to break up with him so that when you are, you are, you're already married and have kids with him, that's when you decide whether uh, you should break up with him already, when you're already too much involved, right? He's being ironic. But anyway, so if I were to answer your question, uh, is it time to break up with him even though I love him so much? It depends. It depends. What the time? I know because you don't want to break up with him, as you see. So I want to give you as much leeway and yet want to give you a realistic answer. You know, I mean, even though I see Mataray, I like to think I'm a nice gal. So I take into account what I feel your needs are and try to make it work within the parameters. Now, a guy who has fooled around more than once, right? It's not usually a guy who will stay there for the long haul, or he will stay there for the long haul, but he will have a lot, a lot of other re relationships around him. So you ask yourself, has he fooled? What is the time gap between the fooling around? Is it three relationships in one year, or two years, or even three years? This guy is not a good bet. You may love him, but leave him. Right? Or is he a guy, he fooled around once, he said he was sorry, he tried to make up for it by m leaving his cell phone open, uh, giving you the password to his email, and 15 years later, maybe he fooled around. 
I am not condoning the fooling around then. But all I'm saying is, this guy, you know, you have more reason to believe or to trust than the other. Especially if the second time he fools around, he is even more sorry and does everything to convince you that you have to trust him. Okay? Now, you know, breaking up is such a terrible, terrible thing to happen to anyone. And usually, a lot of us are very, very sad when it happens. So with your permission, I will quote Ralph Waldo Emerson, who has given me a lot of solace when I broke up. And it seems to have given many people solace too. Many people, I mean my daughter and my stepchildren. Anyway, Ralph Waldo Emerson says, you know, give all to love, obey thy heart, friends, kindred, estate, muse, nothing refuse. But then, and now it's me, as you can see from the lack of poetry, sometimes things don't work out right or he is unfaithful or she is unfaithful. So things have to end, things have to break up. And so the last part of his poem says, Though her parting dims the day, stealing grace from all alive, know heartily that when half gods leave, then the gods arrive. You know, I love this poem because here, you have someone who's not giving you the typical miwi pampalubag loob na it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. I mean, that is true, right? But you know, when you keep on saying that to yourself, parang your life is over na. Kasi sinasabi mo, let's look, at least nag fall in love ako noon, or at least may nagmahal sa akin. But what Ralph Waldo Emerson is saying, and I think what anyone is saying who has a positive view of life is, Okay, you thought this person was the cat's meow. Now you find out that he was a kitten's meow. But don't worry, because sometime in your life, you may find someone else who is just as meowy, you know, just as... Don't worry. But it might take a day, it might take a month, it might take a year, it might take 10 years, but you will. And of course, being a feminist, kuno, I have to say, it doesn't have to be a guy, right? It can be a girl, right? It can be your puppy dog, or it can be something else, or ultimately, it can be yourself. And this will be the person 10 years from now, and hopefully even now, uh, that you find that you love, that you find is the god or the goddess that you should adore, okay? For future episodes, we'll have another round perhaps of infidelity, but this time we will be focusing on the cheaters because, you know, a lot of your comments had to do with how to deal with the people that broke your heart, with the people who were infidels, so to speak. Okay, so send me your questions on Facebook, tweet using the hashtag AskMargie, or send an email to AskMargie at Rappler.com. Of course, we also encourage you to send video questions. Be bold, okay? We would love to hear and see you. Okay, see you next week. Thanks for joining our private session today.